Hey, what's up, ADM? I'm Merce, and this is Secret Stash. I'm an accidental streetwear person. Um, I actually don't believe kind of in streetwear because most of the people in streetwear are not from the streets and they're usually dicks that couldn't fucking punch their way out of a wet pair. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm a thrift shop kid. Like I'm, I'm like a really, really unique kid. My brother bought Tommy Hilfiger growing up. My mom, I would ask her to like, can we cut the front of this burlap rice bag off and sew it onto a white t-shirt? Or uh, we on a dry cleaner, so like, I had like linen suits, ill floral button ups with like real wooden buttons. Um, wire Vera's before I knew what Wire Vera was and I put my little blunts in it. I was fly. So the first deal I got was in Japan from a kid I sold an underground tape to on the street that was the head of a label in Japan and he sought me out and gave me a record deal. So I spent a lot of time in Japan in the um, late 90s. I saw these people with like a busy workshop t-shirts and these ape things and I'm really a nerd. I'm like super into Planet of the Apes, anything sci-fi. So I was like, where is this Planet of the Apes shit at? And then it became a fucking mission, as you may all know now, it became Bathing Ape. And I was like, what's a Bathing Ape? This is so cool, I've never seen it in America. So being an American, I thought, I go to the store in the morning and I buy shit. And I showed up to the store and there was nothing in the store, just hangers. I was like, what the fuck? And this kind of, there's a language barrier. So through various people over days and days of my mission, I found out there were like three or four stores and you had to be there in the morning because they made the shit supposedly or something in the back. There's still a language barrier, I don't know how. Anyway, I finally got this reversible, and I think my mom actually threw it away, it's fucked up, but um, a reversible um, bathing ape, I think it was camo and black coach jacket, probably about $300. Um, but it was, I was selling like 7,000 units in Japan. I was like right under Nas on the charts at the time. It was Jay-Z, Nas, and me on the charts. I, I, was, I was doing all right. So I could afford, I was selling, I had, you know, selling out shows, the liquor room, it's a thousand person cap. I still couldn't sell hundred tickets in America, but I was a big deal in Japan. For me, like, I collect Bathing Ape like some people do polo. Um, I just consider it a brand that's identified with the hip hop community that's been high quality, a little expensive, but if you have a Bathing Ape, anything, it'll last forever. Except I did bring an example. Can I show my example? All right, so when everyone was buying the shoes and the ugly hoodies with the shark face on it, I was buying underwear. I just started buying only the underwear. That's it, I wouldn't wear it, because I didn't want people to see me wear a bathing ape, but I wanted to have bathing ape, if that makes any sense. And so my wife won't, won't, won't let me wear these anymore, but I won't throw them away. So I kept these for about 10 years. When all the kids and Wayne and all that shit, they started wearing it with, to me the designs got ugly, the quality was there, so I would just go in a store and buy as many underwear they had in my size. Um, cause I still wanted to keep current. And these are my last pair. She threw away about seven pair, but these are the only pair I'm allowed to keep. And I don't really, I don't wear them, they're clean but um, I'm not throwing them away. My favorite vape accessory of all time were my teriyaki boys glasses that you can see in the Road Is My Religion video. I was really into Japanese rap for a long time. My first um, tour in 1996 was, was in Europe with my Japanese um, roommate. We were rapping for Europeans who spoke no English or Japanese, but um, so I have an affinity for Japanese rap. And so when the teriyaki boys shades came out, though, that was my favorite vape piece of all time. God rest them wherever they are. Me and my boy, um, Ted Chung, who manages Snoop, who's been a um, childhood friend of mine, he, uh, he's the only other person I know that's like a serious, like not stand collector where we're buying and reselling and not serious fan where we're draped head to toe, but like I'll see him and be like, oh, look at that, what, look, look at that little carbine. Oh, that's dope, where'd you get that? Like, I, like subtle shit, like the fly shit. So I'm always watching. We're planning to go um, on a shopping spree soon. I think we're both turning 40 this year, so we're gonna, you know, act like 40 year olds and buy a lot of bathing name. That's what, what you do. What up squad, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching all Deaf Music.